everyone, Dr. Mungli here. So as you, some of you might be knowing that I make uh, videos on uh, biochemistry topic. Having an MD in biochemistry and being a physician biochemist and also having a thorough understanding on metabolic pathways and also having been studied the nutrition as a part of biochemistry. So I thought of making some videos on nutrition and also give you uh, health tips on uh, uh, obesity uh, weight loss and uh, healthy lifestyle and how to maintain optimal health without any ph pharmacological means. Now one of the topic that I am currently interested in and would like to share with you is uh, intermittent fasting. There is so much interest in intermittent fasting among scientific community and also in lay public. Now, what is this intermittent fasting and what are the different types of intermittent fasting? I'm going to make a series of videos on intermittent fasting and what are the health benefits of intermittent fasting. So in this particular video, I will be explaining you different types of intermittent fastings. And one of the type of intermittent fasting is complete alternate day fasting. I mean complete alternate day fasting, so there will be feast day and the fast day. In feast day, a person will take whatever the uh, type of food that he want to take in ad libitum. It means as much quantity as he or she wishes. And during the fast day, so it, nothing will be taken except uh, water. No uh, sweetened beverages or anything that sort is taken except water. So that is what is altern complete alternate day fasting. Now the next type of intermittent fasting is modified feeding regimen. In modified feeding regimen, in one week, the five days will be feeding days and two days will be fasting days. Now during feeding days, normal food that he or she consumes will be taken, whereas do, during those two fasting days, only 20 to 25 percent of calorie needs of that particular person is taken. Like if the Total calorie needs of a person is 2500, in that only 500 calories are taken. So this is what is, it is amounts to like 20 to 25 percent of the total calorie needs of the person per day. So during those two fasting days, only 20 to 25 percent of the calories are taken. So that is what is modified feeding regimen. Now there is another uh, type of intermittent fasting called time restricted feeding. Now in time restricted feeding, a person will be taking food, it's not that person is fasting entire day, person will be taking food but that food intake, it will be restricted to a certain time frame. Majority of time in time restricted feeding regimen, so less than 3 meals are taken per day, usually it will be 2 meals per day or 1 meal per day. So the idea here is to extend the fasting period. So it will be done on a regular basis where an extended fasting period is done in this time restricted feeding regimen. One of the time restricted feeding regimen that is commonly followed is 16-8. In one day 24 hours, 16 hours of fasting and 8 hours of feeding is done. So in that 8 hours of feeding, so there is no restriction on the calories that a person is consuming. So the person can consume whatever the type of food that is he or she want to consume. That, that is what is 16-8 period. So majority of the people who follow time restricted feeding, so usually they follow 16-8 time restricted feeding. 16 period uh, hours of fasting and 8 hours of feeding. And this 8 hours of feeding, usually it will be done in the afternoon time, maybe by 12 o'clock to 8 o'clock in the evening. So 12 to 8, do, that is the eating like you know, feeding period, feeding window and after that fasting starts. Now the, there is another type of intermittent fasting which is done for religious reason. Now the religious fasting or religious fasting regimens, one of the most popular one is uh, Ramadan fasting. So during the holy month of Ramadan, so the uh, feeding time will be after sunset and before sunrise. So sunset to sunrise feeding window is present. So usually uh, during Ramadan large meal is taken after sunset and uh, a limited quantity or the lighter meal is taken before dawn. So overall approximately around 12 hours of fasting period will be there during Ramadan fasting regimen. 
Now there is another type of uh, fasting for the religious reason is the Seventh Day Adventist diet. Now the Seventh Day Adventist diet it is all about consuming two meals per day usually in the afternoon. So the, during that afternoon period that is 12 to 6, two meals are taken in that window. So after that it is all about fasting. In the two meals period, so that is in the afternoon between 12 to 6, the type of food that is consumed, green leafy vegetables or green vegetables, fruits and nuts. And also there can be other types of uh, intermittent fasting regimens like Daniel fast. So these are some of the different types of intermittent fasting. So just to summarize, so we have complete alternate day fasting, a modified feeding regimen, then you have restrict, time restricted fasting, religious uh, fasting regimens and that includes Ramadan fasting, 7th day Adventist uh, diet and the Daniel diet. So I myself follow a modified form of fasting. So I'm going to, uh, this I am doing since four weeks. So I'm going to share it, uh, share uh, uh, details about it and how it's going to work out. And also in my future videos, I'll be explaining you all the bio, uh, medical uh, benefits or the health, all the health benefits of fasting and uh, what all the scientific literature, what science, science says about it and what all the different uh, metabolic adaptations that are going on in our body during fasting. Stay tuned and make sure you click that subscription button so that uh, you get regular updates as and when I upload video. Thanks for watching and uh, see you in my next video. Till then, take care.